Let's read from that piece from Noah in Commentary Magazine titled, The Dumbest of Coups. In it, Noah writes this, if this is a coup, as an excitable sort has taken to calling it, it's one of the dumbest in modern history. What Trump is sacrificing amid these desperate efforts to cling to power is one of his best political assets. The perception that he is an effective pugilist in defense of what is his and therefore presumably a strong advocate for his constituents. That was only ever a matter of perception. Trump himself has confessed he's more of a whiner than a fighter. But the president's goal is to remain relevant within the party, a kingmaker ahead of 2022 and a resurgent force in 2024. The fiasco over which he presides only makes it easier for those Republicans who have to break from Trump and Trumpism to succeed him. The Republicans mounting a hopeless last stand are sacrificing their legitimacy and honor in defense of a hill that is already overrun. So Noah, the fundamental question we've been asking for a couple of weeks now, why? Why do Republicans continue to stand by and watch what Donald Trump is doing? I think Jonathan put it pretty accurately that the concern here is about politics. I don't think that it has much to do with continuity and the stability of the country and, con and convincing Donald Trump's supporters of the legitimacy of these results. Um, that, if they were to cling to that narrative, and it would be a conspiracy theory on their parts, um, they're not going to be reasoned out of it. And it also has very limited uh, political salience. I mean, there was a very famous YouGov poll as late as 2018 that found a full two thirds of Democrats believed that Russia had tampered with vote tallies. No evidence, not evidence to the contrary, notwithstanding. And it had precisely zero legal impact. This is all about maintaining control over the party. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.